What's up everyone, Thanatos Kyro here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of my Octopath Traveler Let's Play. In the last episode, we went through Orlix Mance, and today we're finally ready to take on Therion's Chapter 2 boss. Before I do that, I want to heal up my party, but it doesn't look like I have any healing items to spare. We should be good for now, but I hope what little I have left will be able to last me throughout the fight. Okay, let's see, is there anything we need to do? Equipment-wise, or... Oh! Right, we do want to learn some more skills. Alright. We can learn some new skills. All across the board, really. Theron's gonna need 3,000 JP before he can learn his next thief skill. And I don't really know if we... He needs another merchant skill. Hanit could use HP thief, though. Alright, that's good for us. Should Ulbrich learn a new skill? Ulbrich could get amputation. That might be good for him. You know what? I'm gonna give him amputation. Alright. Is that all? Alfin can learn one more new skill. Let's try in poison. Looks like we learned a new support skill. It is resist ailments. It proves resistance to... Poison, sleep, confusion, blindness, silence, terror, and unconsciousness. But it doesn't look like it. I can suitably replace it with anything here, so I'm just going to keep it like that. The new skills will be more than enough help, as they are. Alright. I think we're good to go. Yeah. I think that's it, if I'm not forgetting anything. Yeah, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Alright. Let's step into the store. Well, I'll be damned. So this is the door Barm was talking about. Doesn't look like it has any ordinary lock, that's for sure. But this crystal key should do the trick. We are quite lucky that worked. Let's step forward and engage the cutscene. There it is, the Ruby Dragonstone. Ripe for the picking, so let's go take it. The Ruby Dragonstone. One down, two to go. That's far enough, thief. You must be Orlik. I assume you heard the rumors and came to steal my Dragonstone. But filthy thieves such as yourself could never appreciate its true value. Wait. Barham put you up to this, didn't he? Patronizing coward, Baron. This research is pointless, Orlik. Enough with the dragon stone, Orlik. I'll decide when enough is enough. Mark my words, boy. This stone is mine, and you will never have it. I beg to differ. I couldn't care less about its true value. But I need to get that stone back to its rightful owner, and that's not you. Therion is showing a little virtue this time. Well, that's new. This stone should be in the hands of someone intelligent. Someone who can appreciate its mysteries. Someone like yourself? Precisely. This beautiful stone requires research, and I'm the only one who can do it. It sounds like you can't trust anyone else to get the job done. 
Why should I? I never said you should. I know how it feels. Don't pretend you understand! Enough with this thoughtless prattle! I have work to do! All right, it's Let's boss fight over. time. All right, Victory looks like some of Orlik's weaknesses are blocked off. In fact, they're all blocked off. So it looks like we're going to have to take care of his bodyguards before we can do any real damage to him. Unfortunately, that also means we're going to have to endure his attacks for quite a while before we can actually break him and get him to stop attacking. Let's see, the first thing I want to do is try level slash, yeah. see if anyone's weak to swords. Alright, both the bodyguards are weak to swords. That puts us at an advantage with Darion and Alfin. Well, not Darion and Alfin. Ulbrich and Alfin. Alright, let's see. Can Therion do anything as a thief? Are the bodyguards weak to daggers? They are not. Alright, we'll have to keep experimenting with Therion, see what he can do. What next? For now, let's get Lind out here. To keep getting those bodyguards down on their shields. All right, let's do another level slash with Alfin. Let's see, can we collect from these guys? We can. We can collect from everybody here. All right. Let's see, is there anything I sh can do with there? There are swords, actually. All right, let's see. Which bodyguard's gonna attack first? That one. All right, let's get that one first. And then Ulbra can get the next one. I'll clear both bodyguards out of the way for now. Looks like Orlik has increased the physical and elemental attack of everyone on the battlefield. Except for us, which is unfortunate. Let's see if we, there's anything we can do to help withstand that. Let's get a slightly powered up level slash here. Alright, that'll deal some sizable damage to both the bodyguards. Alright, is there anything we can do? Yeah, it looks like they're still both on pretty good terms in health. Alright, let's get Therion's collecting out here. Let's see what we can do. They each have 2,000! Great! Alright. Okay, now let's take care of the bodyguards. Now that we've collected from this one, we should be free to do a max deal SP. All right, but wow, looks like this guy has a lot go. of health. All right. Is there anything we can do to improve our party right now? Doesn't look like anyone needs HP or SP right now. All right, and Alvin doesn't really have any JP, so... No, not JP. BP. All right, is there anything we can do then? Doesn't really look like it. I guess we'll just defend. <laughs> the battle is truly Ulbrich can do something. Does Ulbrich have him poison? Ulbrich does. All right, let's use a maxim poison on Orlik to get some damage on him, even if we can't break him yet. Oh, magic missile hits like a truck. That is not good. That dealt almost 1,000 damage. Oh, and that triple swipe isn't doing good for us either. Here goes nothing. All right, let's get. Alfin out here. Let's make a healing miss. Try this. We desperately need that. That was an impressive showing of power. Out of my Warlick way. is slowly but surely taking damage. Alright, let's get Lind out here. Those bodyguards need to be taken out fast. No. We've got to take care of Orlik before he gets too powerful. Yeah. Or overwhelms our party. Oh. Ugh, that hurts like a... It hurts. It hurts quite a bit. My turn. All right. All we have to do is right. wait until we can collect from until we collect from both bodyguards to really unleash no. maximum damage. All right. Let's actually heal Therion. I'll boost it just in case. Can never be too sure, really. My arrow fly in true. All right. I'll defend with Hornet. A bit more. BP, so that way we can fire up another steel SP here. Man, this guy's taken like 5,000 damage so far. Out of my way. This HP scaling is rough. But it does look like it's almost out, though, so we won't have to wait too much longer before we can take it out. Bring it Ugh, that was a critical attack on Alphan, too. It's not looking good. Alright, what else can we do? Let's see. 
You could use Cross Strike, actually. That might work pretty nice. Alright, there we go. The bodyguard's out. Almost 2,000 damage from Alpha, and pretty impressive. Alright, let's collect from this bodyguard another 2,000 for us. Alright, now we can focus all our energies on this one. Magic Missile is really concerning, honestly. Like, it consistently deals massive amounts of damage. And it looks like we're out of healing materials for Alpha, so it looks like we're stuck with first aid for now. I'll have to make it a point in future episodes to buy more, because this is getting a bit close, not gonna lie. Too close for comfort. Out of my way. Alright. Theron can't do anything to us yet. Let's see, let's see if we can use merchant skills. Alright. Ulbrich, I'll go. give you one BP. So that way we can use Cross Strike. Alright, let's see. 2077. Alright, that's quite a bit of damage. Is there anything else we can do? Actually, does... Hanit does have Leg Hole Trap. Let's get Orlik to the end of the line. Ugh, not a moment too soon. That attack was probably even worse than Magic Missile, not gonna lie. Alright. Just gonna have to keep wailing on this bodyguard here. Nothing else we can do. Ugh, Alvin's in critical condition. Alright, let's see. Let's use a Healing Grape M. That'll get him up to speed pretty quickly. So, uh, let's use First Aid on Therion here. And then Alvin can also use First Aid on Ulbrich. Orlik's poison is about to run out. We better high tail it. All right, looks like the sword, uh, the sword's ability kicked in and reduced this thing's, this guy's physical defense. That'll make the steel SP ton more powerful. All right, that was nearly four thousand damage, and now Orlik's weaknesses have been exposed. All right, let's try spears. All right, Orlik is weak to spears. Let's keep the poison up. With another in poison. Pick your poison. All right, that's nine more turns turns of poison for Orlik. My turn. We are essentially out of BP here. Okay, so let's try steel SP. Orlik is weak to daggers. Okay, that gives Hanet and oh, Theron right. something extra to do. Uh, let's use spears Victory here. Actually, I'm going to heal Theron with Orlik. You gotta keep everyone's HP up. Because I have no idea what the next attack might be. Ugh, I was right to heal Therion. He would have died. Alright, let's use a max. First aid. Hopefully that'll fully heal him. Well, kinda. Is there anything we can do with Therion? I do want to wait until my party has more BP, but it doesn't look like we can wait any longer. I'll defend. No, I'll don't. take the risk. Uh, Holbrook's not looking too good now. Alright, looks like I'll be able to break him next turn if I use Donate BP with Olbrick. Uh, Yeah, if I use Donate BP on Olbrick with Therion. Alright, so anything I want to do to prep for this. So anything I can do. Can't steal from him. None of the hunter skills look like they're gonna do much. Actually, wait, I can heal Ulbrich with Using a this. healing grape. There we go. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to use first aid on Hanet. Hanet hasn't been attacked in a while. Hopefully that stays <laughs> a theme here. Alright. So. I'll use donate BP on Ulbrich. Here you go. That'll be good for us. The hunt and now let's break Orlik. All right, for the first time in this fight, Orlik's actually broken. Victory All right, I'm going to more. use abide with Ulbrich, and then I'm going to use abide right. with Alfin. I'll 
I'll both I'll prepare them both for a, a cross strike. All right, look, I'm gonna have to use donate BP on Ulbrich again. He's one short. All right, let's use cross strike now. Three thousand damage, and I should get the same from Alfin. All right, that's good. Coming if thou darest. Let's use a max steel SP here. Alright, that's two and a half thousand. But he's still pretty much com still pretty much full. That's quite frustrating. Let's see, will HP Thief do anything? No, I don't think so. It doesn't usually work unless you have BP to spare. At least not in an early game. Alright, let's use spears with Alvin for now. Doesn't look like we can do much. Actually, Orlik doesn't use many physical attacks, but Shacklefell might be something we can take advantage of. There's until then little attack kicking in. Alright, looks like I wanna looks like I'm gonna need to heal some of our party members. Activate construct. Alright, we're gonna have to break Orlik immediately. This is a golem. Alright. I have no idea what it's weak to, but it does look like the Sentinel, so maybe it's weak to the same thing that the Sentinels are. The Sentinel doesn't move until next turn either, so we can focus our energies on breaking Orlik for now. Victory shall be Looks like Ulbricht is in need of some SP, so we're gonna have to take care of that. Alright, that takes care of Orlik for now. Now we just have to investigate the weaknesses of this Golem. It's not Bring weak it to swords. On. It's not weak to spears. My turn. Is it weak to daggers? Ah! It is weak to daggers. Alright, great. That's good. The hunt I wonder if we can collect from this golem. We'll have to find out. Alright, let's use another healing grape Using for this. Therion. Could definitely use it. Bring it on. And then Alfin can use first aid on himself. Alright. Could the golem be weak to axes? It uses axes, though. I'm not sure if this thing will be weak to its own weapon, but it's worth a shot. Up. Oh, okay. Well, we did take that risk. Ugh, rage continues to hit like a truck, but thankfully, the shackle foe we used earlier did help tamper down the damage. Alright. Doesn't look like the golem's weak to any other physical weapons. At least not that any Alfin has. Alright. Alfin is full on BP, essentially, but I don't know if there's anything I can do with him now. Not like we can break Orlik immediately. Let's get down to work. We can decrease his shields tremendously, but he's still active on the battlefield. So we're going to have to take our next move wisely, because we are very, very quickly running out of healing items. We can use an Inspiriting Plum M. That'll heal quite a bit of SP, though. It's a bit too much for my liking, but desperate times, I suppose. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to keep up the Empoison. I don't have enough BP to use a maxed out Empoison, but it's better than nothing. Alright, let's use another Steel SP on this Golem. Ugh, that lightning bolt also hits like a truck. Thankfully, we'll be able to break this golem pretty soon. We cannot collect from the golem. Okay. I did anticipate that. So, that means we can focus our energy on breaking it. We don't have to waste a turn with Therion. No, I want to hold off on that for now. I actually want to use a regular Steel SP and then follow it up with Haunted Steel SP. That'll amount to four dagger attacks and that'll break the golem. Only just, though. And plus, we still have Orlik to deal with. Huh, that was a, that was a lucky dodge by Therion there. Alright. What else can we do? I'm going to have Ulbrich use Abide. Here goes nothing. We're gonna have... We can heal somebody. 
Let's go with a Soothing Seed and Essence of Great. Let's see, who can... who should we heal? Let's get there. Alright, 1,000 HP for him. Letting my arrow fly in true. Alright, let's use a Healing Grape on Hana. Alright, looks like everyone's equipped to handle at least one attack from either the Golem or Orlik, so... Next, I want to use Armor Corrosive on the Golem here. I see. So that Ulbrich can use a fully powered cross strike. Alright, that's 4,000 damage, but this thing is still standing. Ugh. Bring it on. I am really not liking how much damage that attack does. Try this. Hunt and Therion are both full on BP, so we should make quick use of that. Alphan's in critical condition. We're gonna have to what heal him next? up immediately. Actually, immediately, yeah. We can't spend any time to break the golem. What is the golem's HP at? The golem is still pretty much at full health. How much HP does that golem have? Oh, man. This fight is quickly turning out to be quite, quite hard. Alright, let's use a healing great M on Alphan. Man, I really should have bought more healing items. I don't know why I didn't do that. Alright, let's use four dagger attacks to make use of Therion's BP. Alright. Magic Missile coming in for Therion. Ugh, oh, that very nearly killed him. That's our last healing grape. Okay, is there anything Alphan can do? I guess Alphan, if we defend with Alphan, he can keep up the pressure with him poison. Might be good for us. Here goes nothing. Let's get down to work. Alright, let's use him poison on Take Orlik poison. here. Alright. That'll keep him poisoned for a little hunt. while longer. So yeah, Hanich needs to break the golem immediately. Alright, second serving kicking in. That'll give us a bit more damage. That's always useful. Alright, let's use Armor Corrosive on the Golem here. That isn't good. Alright, we're gonna have to break Orlik now, essentially. Because he's moving immediately after Ulbrich does. Don't want to take the chance if I miss with him, so... I'm gonna use three... BP just to give me that extra bit of insurance for the last attack I might need. Let's see. There's already an Armor Corrosive applied to the Golem there. Is there anything I can do? I don't know. I guess we can use Steel SP. Oh, you know what? I should have used Steel HP instead. Oh well. Alright, the golem is almost out of HP. Alright, the Steel SP should do it. Alright, the golem is gone and we can finally focus our attention back to Orlik again. We're gonna take this opportunity to heal the party, because we are not in the best state right now. Alright, let's get an Essence of Plum out here on Alphen. Alright, that means he's pretty much full on SP now. Thankfully, Orlik's increased elemental attack will expire this turn, so we won't have to worry about his next attack dealing any damage to us, because he won't move until the next turn. Let's use first aid. On Hanit there. Alright. Let's donate some BP. Here you go. Alright, that'll give one extra BP to Hanit. Hana can't do anything right now, but I wonder if we can steal. I'll take if I need. And in Spiriting Plum Basket, we can actually use that in nothing. this very fight. Alright, that's good. Anything that I can do with Alphan. I can keep... Uh, I'm gonna apply another poison here. Take your poison. That passive damage is really going to help us out here, because we've Come probably on, done... What next? Over, like... 10,000 damage with that poison now? There's been a lot, quite a bit of turns that have passed. I've lost track of all of them, really. Okay, so. Let's actually move Orlik to the back of the line with Leghold Trap. Better than a snare. That'll give us a ton more opportunities to attack him before he gets to move again. 
All right, let's use steel SP. I appreciate it. Really? No. Let's use spears. More spears. <laughs> All right, is there anything we can do? All right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep him on one shield point for this turn and heal the rest of the party for the next turn. Because we Begin. almost have enough HP to engage a perfect series of attacks. Here we go. All right, everyone gets a healing Try grape. This. Well, that didn't do much for Ulbrich. Ulbrich does has quite a bit of HP actually. Use this. All right, the party's in good condition. Activate construct. Oh, I I got so scared. Thankfully, we've already taken it out, so can't be revived anymore. All right, I'm going to use abide with Ulbrich. And I'm going to. I think I'm going to break this guy with Therion, and then Hanuk can follow up with a Armor Corrosive. And then Alfin can also use Abide. Alright, this is pretty much a perfect setup right now. Okay, so let's collect from Orlik, finally. That's a 100% chance, and we get 6,000 from that. That is a hefty bonus. Alright. Alfin can use Cross Strike for 4,000 damage. Ulbrich can also use Cross Strike for another 4,000 damage, and that takes him out. Orlik is finally, finally done for. That was... Intense. Boy, am I glad that's over. Bested by a thief. How oh, disgraceful. Since you won't be doing much more research, I'll just take this. And now, back to Boulderfall. I'm sure Heathcote's got new orders for me. Hooray. That was the best possible delivery of that line. That was golden. Good job, Therion. Thankfully, we don't have to make the trek to Boulderfall uh, ourselves. I'm, I'm so glad to see you safe, Mr. Therion. I brought the Dragonstone. This is indeed the Ruby Stone, without a doubt. You have my gratitude. He is simply upholding his half of the deal, milady. He deserves no such thanks. Heathcote's harsh. Damn. After all, he has yet to return the two remaining stones. He doesn't even he doesn't even give credit where credit's due. I think he's earned the removal of the band. Stop and think about what you're saying. I beg your pardon. You can't guarantee I'll fulfill my promise if you remove this now. I believe you would. And why is that? You don't strike me as someone who would abandon responsibility. I've got a hand of the Therion, though. He's, in a very weird way, looking out for others. By making sure nobody can take advantage you of him. You strike me as someone with too much faith in people. Take it from me. No matter how much you trust someone, they will betray you. So do yourself a favor and build your walls up higher before you get hurt. Mr. Therion? Looks like Therion has got some emotional baggage. Please, milady. Quite a hard quite past. Enough. Though I hate to admit it, he's right. 
It's best not to remove the band just yet. If you insist. So, where's the next stone? After a bit of digging, I found it to be in Wellspring. Any idea where in Wellspring? That town is home to a black market. What does he know about the black market? Only those involved with the business are supposed to know. And thus Heathcote's profession, or at least his true profession, becomes ever more strange. I knew he was no ordinary butler. Looks the like Therion's picked up the hint. Is being sold there. Or so my sources say. I'll be on my way then. Good luck out there, Mr. Therion. You don't need to see me off again. It's a waste of time for both of us. But... Farewell. Please, don't burden yourself with him, Miss Ravis. Even that man has dignity to uphold. Dignity? Though he may live an unscrupulous life, his skills as a thief keep him alive. Naturally, he has pride and confidence in these skills, but we use them against him. And I can imagine he feels great frustration when shown compassion and consideration by the very ones who duped him. If he did not feel such, I would not think him suitable for the job. I see. He's a man with a lot of pride. Milady? My apologies, Heathcote, but I can't help thinking of that lonesome look on his face. It reminded me of myself back then. Is that so? Yes. His words may have been harsh, but I could tell that his true feelings were different. And so Therion's journey continues. His next target, the Stone of Emerald. So he sets forth for the town of Wellspring in the Sunlands, and the den of villainy that awaits within. And that's it. That would be Therion's chapter two. I'm going to go take a peek at the map, so I can see where I'm off to next. The world map says I'm off to Wellspring in the Sunlands, with a recommended level of 36. We're going to have to do quite a bit more leveling up before we're ready for that chapter. And we'd be all the better for it, as chapter Th Therion's Chapter 3 is probably the hardest Chapter 3 in the entire game. Now, before I forget, I'm actually going to take this opportunity right now to go buy some stuff over here at the shop. I almost went the wrong way. Alright, the Provisioner has some stuff for us. Let's take a bunch of Inspiriting Plums. We're gonna need... I think 20 of them should be good for us now. Oh, we won't... I think we can use two more Life Olives. Alright. We could definitely use more... Essence of Grape. And Soothing Seeds as well. I'm going to top us off to 30. Alright, that looks like all we can buy here right now. I'm actually going to take the time to fast travel all the way back to Noble Court. We were just there after all. So I can finish buying all the rest of the stuff I need. Plus, it'd feel weird to start Therion's Chapter 2 here and end up way back in boulder fall it might feel it'd be a bit jarring for you guys there's the inn and the provisioners right here all right is there anything extra 
Nope, just purifying dust, which is way too expensive. We can buy more healing grape M's. I'll get 10 of those for us. And I'll buy four more he regular healing grapes. Alright, looks like that's it. So, thank you guys for accompanying me on this very long and very intense video. Orlik's boss fight is sure one that I won't soon forget. I hope you guys will stay tuned for the next episode, where we will actually be making the trek to... I think what we can do is follow the next highest level chapter. Ulbrich's chapter 2 is level 27. Hanit's chapter 2 is also level 27. So next time we will be making the trek to Goldshore in the coastlands where Alfin's chapter 2 awaits. Until then, guys, have a great day and take care.